welcome to Fat Quarter Shops Floss Tube. Today is October 18th. It's been a big week for us. Kevin turned 50 on Monday, so that was super exciting. And we got to go to dinner with all the kids. Super fun. Um, they're all getting bigger. At the end, I will show you pictures of them. They are no longer little children. They are now full adults. Not really adults, but they are as tall as adults, which is really weird. Um, today I'm going to get to show you all of my Stitchtober progress and Cheryl's Stitchtober progress and then I'm just going to show you some other things we're working on and we will generally chat. I thought that we could start off today with a poll and see what size count do you guys stitch on. I'll give you the options of 14, 28, 10, and 16. So we'll just see. I'm just super interested. I have been, well, you know what? We could add 25 count too. Um, I have found this year that, you know, I really love my 14 count Ada, but I have fallen in love with the 28 count Monaco and just kind of interesting to see how things change. Um, so we'll jump right in and I will show you my Stitchtober progress. The main thing I worked on this week was Quilted Witch. I'll show you some other stuff I worked on too. But mainly it was this. So on here, what I tried to do, last week you saw that I was right here. So I just did fill in and then basically I did outlines of things and then at basketball games I was able to fill in. And then in the car between the games, I would do the stars. And as, for example, if I stitched this red, since I already had the thread out, I would stitch this red, if that makes sense. So I tried to, you know, as I stitched this, stitch this, you know, pull threads so that I wasn't constantly. I think the thing that takes the most time with a pattern like this is that there are so many threads that you know when you have them out instead of putting it back on it's easier to just stitch as much as you can so i do have everything up here stitched and what i'm going to be doing so i've got page one and page two done is i'm going to go down this way and i think this will be the hardest part so i'm going to go ahead and get that part done because I've already got the cat and this done. So really all I have left is like right here, here, and the dress. So I think the easiest thing to make this go fast was that I was going to go down. I was going to go ahead and do these. Like do the outside of the dress and the inside. And then I could fill in. So it would be easier if I had it all the way outlined and then do all the yellows at once, all the blues at once, that kind of thing. So I think the, just trying to keep, get the yarn out and stitch it all at once. And they're super fast. It's a lot faster than I thought. It's just a matter of being efficient with my time. So it would be really cool if I could get this done by next week. We'll see. Um, I'm really hoping I'm done by Halloween. And I do plan to get mine framed and I'm gonna get it framed with museum glass and I'm gonna just use the same exact frame that Laura used since we framed it for her in Austin. I can just take it to the framer and get it framed. And I will say, since we were talking about what we like to stitch on, I have found that stitching on 25 count is so amazing because I don't have to have glasses or lights. Um, this color that I'm stitching on is the prim 25 count and um, the only thing I would say my disadvantage is if you look at this, you know, obviously I didn't iron it, but it's not always as flat as my 14 count would be. But when it's framed, I think it'll be fine. I would just say that my tension on my over two is never as good as my over one. And it's probably just the texture of the fabric, I would think, because I do stitch in hand and I treat it the same. I basically roll up a section and put a wonder clip and then just kind of hold it in my hand like that. 
And um, so my original goal was to finish this by November 3rd, but I it would be so nice if I could be done by this weekend. So we'll see how much time I have. And um, I do think I will really enjoy doing the, the skirt um, because once I get the skirt done, pretty much everything else is easy. And the way that I would tackle the broom, that's a broom, right? Mm -hmm. Is I would outline the light green and then there's some little dark greens. I'd fill it in and then I would outline and then that way I'd just take it to basketball and just fill in because I can get a lot done. Um, there's a lot of timeouts. I think that's what they call them, um, where I can stitch. And you know, 10 stitches here and there, it adds up. I do have, the funny thing is I have this weird purple that's like loose and I was at the basketball game and I was like, you know what? And it's out of this big skein. So I don't know what I did, but this is funny. It's like the rogue uh, thread, but I just, I'll fix it eventually. So this is The Quilted Witch by Lori Holt. I have loved seeing all of you guys stitch along. I'll show you some pictures um, from, this is FQS Stitch Tober Progress from Kimberly Stitch Squad. So here, Pat Bro, who always comments and she always gives us beautiful posts, she is stitching Lori Card Stitch Cards F and R. She's using the free FQS Mix and Match by Lori Holt that we showed in 2022. 2020 and we also showed a little bit of that last week and so um, she's using stitchy readers and her halo go rechargeable light and super cute I'm not sure if she used the called for colors or if she changed them out but super cute thank you Pat and then Missy Walters is finishing the autumn spice which was the stitch tober from 2022 really cute Stitch Quarterly. And then Dorothy Vermeer, um, she did the mix and match also, and I think she did that on a really small count. She doesn't say, but it's a pillow and it's super cute. And she put some black rickrack around the end, so that's really cute. And then Audrey Petit, she stitched a Prairie Schooler Boo Moon and they're stitched on coffee tea dyed ada using called for dmc and for the house ornament she stitched an extra jack o lantern and made her first covered button that she added to the wire hanger so that's super cute you can see that at the top left and for the owl ornament she wrapped the wire hanger around a real twig and used brown bra brads to embellish the eyes and the bow so you can kind of see, you can barely see it, but you can see um, the eyes on the owl has a 3D dimensional. And then this one is Bumble Stitches and Lori sent it to me actually. So, so Bumble Stitches made a drum and she used Lori Holt Stitch Cards R with the cute aut autumnal motifs and stitched them in a row. She used Vonna Pfeiffer's excellent drum tutorial and Celeste Creates Tomato tutorial to create the pumpkin pincushion pin topper. So the drum is the bottom piece and Vonna Pfeiffer has a YouTube channel and she also has different tutorials in the magazine that comes out called Primitive Stitcher. So you could find her tutorial one of those two places and then I haven't heard of Celeste Create, so hopefully she is easy to find. I'm not sure if she is a blogger or a YouTuber, but super, super cute. Love it, and if you have questions on any of those, you can contact them on social media. So this is also what I got done this week. This is Barn Sweet Barn that we started in January, and this one is October's, and so October's is I would say kind of a smoky blue, smoky gray. I'm taking this one to the framer and at the end I will have 12 of these framed. And this is going to be the colors for November. So I'm actually gonna start November because this one is actually really easy to travel with. And just as a sneak peek, I can show you Cheryl's finished November. So Cheryl just finished November and I think it's hilarious because we both have two X's at the top to show us where the top is. So um, 
Now mine always comes out lighter than hers. You know, we still haven't figured out why, which is kind of like the mystery of Fat Quarter Shop. But I am going to start my November this um, weekend. I'll probably actually start it today. I always kind of start in the center and these are so fun. I love making this. And we have some people who have stitched it along with this. And so this is Tammy Parrish Ber Bergoon. And so she's waiting for the mailman to bring the actual barn so she can display it somewhere. So I'm assuming she means the finishing piece. And then Tammy Fry, she says she's a little late, but she's finally finished all 12 of the Barn Suite Barn Stars. She changed October colors to match fall decor. Super cute. And so she'll have to let us know if she's framing those individually or is one big piece. And then Tammy Parrish, she started September's Barn Sweet Barn, and she began cross-stitching after taking a 25-year break. She completed the Evergreen Mystery Stitch Along a few weeks ago, and definitely having to relearn a few things. This is my first time ever stitching on 25 Count Lugana. So let's see what those poll results are. Let's see, okay, so 14 and 16 count gets 66% of your votes. 28 count gets 22%, 25 gets 10%, and then 10 count gets zero. So 14 and 16 count win by a landslide. I worked on temperature yesterday. So this is our temperature pattern. So this is October down here. So you can see we've kind of got some cool, um, some cool temperatures. It's been actually really nice at football games where I'm actually not sweating and have to take a shower when I get home. That's always lovely to only have to take one shower a day. I cannot stand to be dirty. So if I sweat even a little bit, I go home and take a shower. My kids are like, why are you in your pajamas? I'm like, because I just took a shower. And that gives me an excuse to already put my pajamas on, right? Like, can't you, I just love to put pajamas on. And I have, I'm notorious for um, I'll tell a little story at the end, but I'll tell you a little story about Sunday and me in my pajamas. And one of these days, my kids are going to get totally embarrassed, but I cannot tell you how many times I take a kid or pick up a kid and I'm in my pajamas and just hoping the coaches don't walk up to the car to say, hi, Miss Jolly. Hi. This is October stackable. So I started this on Saturday. And two football games is what it took me to make this two different kids two different football games and my my um, pattern is all hold on i tore it up anyway there's a tear somewhere on this pattern oh it's right here yeah i don't know i i don't know what i was doing at that football game but um i tore my pattern so i always kind of start at the bottom and i have found that since january i've gotten a lot quicker on making the barrels it used to take me forever and now it's pretty easy and what I'll do is by Friday, my goal is to have the scarecrow done. And then um, hopefully by October 31st, I have it all done. So I'll probably do this one week. One, I try to do each of the motifs all at once, but anything like this is great because if I outline it, I can just take it to a game and then I can still watch my kids because I mean, you know, the coaches and um, Pop Warner, they like to take five minutes to call a play which I actually don't mind but Kevin is all Kevin times them actually and he's he starts his timer on his phone and he's like okay I'm gonna give this coach I mean how, how hard is it to call a play and I'm like okay Kevin they're they're in sixth grade they don't know what they're doing anyway I'm gonna show you some progress from some of you guys who have been working on stackables and I'm gonna get to see a peak of November in a little bit so Pat Matthews she just finished the September stackables a lot more stitches this month this month and I changed the currency symbol really love the sunflowers oh okay awesome so she changed that to a pound instead of a cent or dollar sign and then Allison Bumgammer Bumgarner I'm so far behind on these so I love how quick they are to stitch and how cute they are thank you to Fat Quarter Shop for this fun monthly cross stitch club love them this is April stackables 
and she stitched on 18 count pale gray gingham. And then Pat Matthews, she stitched August stackables, another cute one that I can see myself stitching again as individual tiny pillows. Really enjoying the series. Yeah, that'd be really cute to have a little honey pillow. Susan Smith Koopman finished June stackables. She loves the colors. She'll probably display it in July since that's when she usually takes her beach trips. And then Pat Matthews again, another stitching finish for this week, the Jolly, J sorry, J July stackables. She hasn't FFO'd any of the series so far and I'm still wondering about adding the monthly names. Love the lemonade jar and tempted to restitch it as a tiny pillow. Yeah, so that'd be amazing, Pat, if you do the, the letters of the month, you'd have to let everybody know where you got the alphabet. And then FFO, for any of you who want to know, means fully finished object. So I wanted to show you this. This is our tease to November stackables, and that's all I'm gonna show you, just because um, Cheryl stitched it up. And if you're in the club, you will be the first one to get your piece in early November. And really, really cute. Now, another thing I worked on is the Weigh In by Stitching with the Housewives. So I am trying to stay up to date with them. So this is November, this is the header, and this is the Monica that I was talking about that I love. And it literally will just stand up. It's like, it reminds me of starch. Like it literally, I can get it to stand up. I tried it at home and it worked. Look at that. So that's some stiff fabric. So um, I am going to basically, try, I'm gonna not let myself finish November or start the big piece of November until I finish Quilted Witch and stackables for October and then that way um, but I have the top down and this one was really easy super easy super fun and love stitching on the Monaco I'm actually really surprised at how much I like it so that's my progress for the last couple of weeks now we get to show Cheryl's and the first one I get to show you is Kevin's birthday gift which you guys got to see last week so this is his desk. Just ignore all those monitors in the background because he's like the resident IT guy here. And you can see in the background the quilt that's hanging on the wall a little bit. And then she got him Dr. Pepper. That is her unfinished, that is her fully finished unfiltered poison by Shannon Christine. Kevin loves Dr. Pepper and those um, wrapped, those are Lamb's Candy Longhorns. He loves those. As soon as he opens them, he hides them. He thinks I don't know where they are, but every time he hides them, I find them and eat like three and I know he gets so mad because <laughs> that's why he hides them. Okay, so I showed you a little bit of this last week. So Stitching with the Housewives has sassy strippers in Halloween and there are five of them and this week now Cheryl has decided on the order she's going to stitch them so the first one's going to be Frankenstein and she's not fully finished with him I'm going to tell you why in a second so first is Frankenstein and then she's going to put the kitty which you can see she has started and then next is going to be the ghost the pumpkin head and then the witch and so what she did here is she really she didn't finish the Frankenstein yet because she has a little bit of this left she wanted to really check her spacing on the kitty before she kept going but basically if you look at all of the sassy strippers for Halloween at the bottom they have a pumpkin head or pumpkin face pumpkin face so you'll see all those pumpkin faces at the bottom. So that's really exciting. This one she is stitching in a horizontal row, 32 count vintage smoky white linen, called for classic color works, two strands over two squares. And I think it'd be really awesome if some of you guys stitched it and did the same thing as her. Three stitches in between. So in between here and here, that's three stitches. 
And this is uh, the nerd hoop in, I don't know if it's natural or brown, but she loves these nerd hoops. The next thing Cheryl worked on was Twas All Hallows Eve. And this is by Tiny Modernist. So it's a four part series. So she has done two parts. And so last month, or last time I showed you updates, she was kind of over here, so now she's over here. This one, she's using two strands over two squares on 32 count charcoal dyed effect by Fabric Flair. And if you guys are not familiar with Fabric Flair, they screen print on one side of the fabric and then one side of the fabric is just white. So they just take a white and they screen print on it. The next piece she worked on is Hello Halloween by Teresa Kogut. And we do have some new Teresa Kogut patterns coming. They are autumn inspired and they will be arriving any day. We have them on order and we've gotten a lot of customer service requests and product requests through our email system and they are on the way, should arrive any day. One is a book. So this is Hello Halloween Sampler by Teresa Kogut. Now this one, she's stitching one, one strand over two squares because it's 36 count. So I wanna kinda show you This right here is 32 count, similar to 16 count. This is 36 count, similar to 18 count. This is stitched with two strands over two squares. So you can see the thread really fills the space. On 36 count, she used one strand over two squares and this has more of a vintage feel. So just seeing the difference between 32 36 she's using called for colors on both of these but it just gives you a different effect and i just think that's really interesting to see because um, you can really see the difference in the black and um, now i'm going to show you the flash sale for today which is october 18th 2023 we have october trucking along by stitching with housewives on sale and we still have the trucking along set of 12 that will probably be discontinued at some point. Also for today, we have a sale item. So Kevin had put this together. If you place an order that is $50 or more, that's a shippable order, the order must include one shippable non-gift certificate item. So um, you get a free Calico 5-inch charm pack while they last. So that starts this morning and hopefully it'll last a couple of days. Oh, it expires today at midnight, sorry. Well, I think it'll last. And then I'm gonna show you what's new, so start popping your questions in. I am so excited to show you our So Stitchy coaster set. So this is something brand new that Brittany and Jocelyn worked on. And it's a set of four coasters that are sewing inspired. And so you get one of each and they are on the top, they are glossy. And then the back is cork. So they're super cute. These would be great Christmas gifts for somebody who likes to sew. It would even be great for somebody who crochets or knits just because it's got that um, kind of all around feel. Now for other new items, Friday, Stitching with the Housewives released Christmas Roundabout Skate with Mrs. Claus, and this is the third in the series. Today, this was today. Friday was bringing home Harvest downloadable PDF. So this was Friday's. And this one would be really cute if you did that same thing that Cheryl's doing because they all have pumpkin bottoms. 
and you could do uh, pumpkins across horizontally like Cheryl did. Stitching with the Housewives also has new, they have a religious all is calm and this one is so pretty. I got to see it in person when I was on vacation with Priscilla. Gingerbread is a brand new piece that is um, kind of similar to the candy cane or candy corn that they did where it's across and then it's on this big piece. You can put it in your kitchen. And then monthly weigh in December and I am hoping that, all, that I have December completely done. I would love to do gingerbread also. So this one I'm gonna for sure do. This one is a, if I can fit it in. I've been trying to um, still keep up without overdoing it. Now some exciting news that I, that I talked about recently was Blackbird Designs re-released older patterns. And so last time I showed you 13 new patterns that they re-released and then this week they came out with two new ones. This is Bringing Good Cheer and it's one pattern and this was the original sampler and it must have come out in 2017. And then Peppermint and Holly is 10 winter samplers and I'm going to turn some pages and show you some of the different projects in here without showing you the patterns. That's really pretty. The inside is black and white. The instructions are black and white, but there are some photos that are in color. Okay, and then this one I can show you. I just want to make sure I don't show you the charts. That's a really cute idea. Christmas box. And then here are some more images. Okay, we have an Italian designer who came out with two new patterns. Nativity Collection 2 and Merry Christmas. And these two, the instructions are in Italian. I thought, I brought them in though because we get a lot of requests for nativity. So even though it's in Italian, I know customers really like having the opportunity to have that religious piece. From Erin Elizabeth, we have Cozy Lane Sampler. That one's really cute, really cute. I love this part of it. That would make a really cute pillow. The Stitchy Witchy Smalls, and this one when I saw it would be really cute to do little vignettes. Like if you're not a witch person, you could, you know, you could just, I always like to look at something and just see, you know, if you don't have time to stitch the whole thing, is there something you could pull out of it that you like? Kind of like when I was showing you Pam's pieces and she was talking about pillows. It's always great to, if you can't do the whole thing, you can find pieces that you love. Winter Tear. and flower market. Lindy Stitches has dogs in the garden, summer. Little House Needleworks, and I wasn't sure when this came out if this is a new pattern or a re-released pattern. Me and Cheryl didn't know. So this is called Those I Hold Dear, so if you guys know, you can let us know. Summer House Stitch Works, Fragments in Time, seven and eight. And this one, I believe you can stitch individually or as one piece, more information can be found on the Summer House Stitch Works website. The Prairie Schooler Book 115, Pins and Needles, and this one I absolutely love because I love log cabins. This one would be so cute to, this one would be a great 
chart to just take and just pull like for example if you just pull from for example the quilted witch i could just pull all those threads they're already carded on the pumpkin floss drops and just start dropping in color so this is something where you could just recolor it with something from in your bag or you could pull from your stackables bag or from any little house or country cottage and just your threads already together and it's a way to use up leftover threads and then there's a needles and pins p is for pin cushion a stitch in time um, and then there's one that says my thread is cut my work is done so there are five charts oh it's right there sorry tiny modernist make today magical it's a seven part series that is coming out and this kind of gives you a hint of what it will look like but this is part one of seven part two of seven and so you can see part two is like this part but then part one is this part you do have to buy all the parts part three and then part four goes to the bottom and then we will have the remaining three as they release Christmas Wreaths 2023 by Twin Peaks Crim Twin Peak Primitives. I'm trying to count how many there are. Let me look. Well, here's another photo of them. So lots of options, and of course you could do pillows and you could also kind of put them together with a border in between if, you know, if they're the same size. I'm not sure if they are. This one's really cute. Okay, so next week we are doing something super exciting. It will be a live stream and Priscilla and Chelsea will be showing me how to writ dye fabric. And we're going to actually do it in real time. So if you want to writ dye fabric with us, you could go ahead and gather your supplies. You could go to the Stitching with the Housewives YouTube channel and watch their, their original video they did years ago. Figure out what you need, because we're gonna basically do that same thing in my kitchen. And we're gonna see how it comes out. Now, obviously, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not great with like dyeing and stuff, so we'll see how it comes out. And um, that will be super exciting. And I'm gonna answer questions, but I'm gonna show a couple pictures of my kids first, just to kind of give a little update. So if you see number 77, that is Christopher Jolly. He is taller than that referee. He is insanely tall. He is 12 years old. And I cannot tell you how many times I'm sitting in the stands and people are like, that kid is cheating. He's not on the right team. He's too big. And I'm just like, I just wanna to say to them like, sorry, that's how he was born. And then Emma, she is the second one. Her hair, yeah, there she is. That's sweet Emma. She is as tall as me now. And Christopher, you can see him in the back. He's Okay, so Christopher's in basketball, football, and band, and he had all three of them last night, and he made two of them. And then Peyton, okay, this was last night. He got a sack. So he's been on the C team all year. And we were so sad because last night was going to be his last night because the C team didn't have any more games. He got moved to the B team playing a really good team and he got a sack. So we were so excited for him. Of course, I somehow left right before because I had to go to Christopher's all the way across town and I missed it. But there is a video of it and really excited for him because he'll have more games. You can't see him, but I mean, you know, he's way over on the other side. And then I don't have any pictures of Will because, oh wait, who is this? Oh yeah, this is also Peyton somewhere in there. He's this, okay, I can tell where he is. He's a skinny one with his hand kind of in the middle and he's on the, the 25 or 24 line something. I don't know. He's got black socks. That's how I know who he is. And then I don't have any pictures of Will, but okay, so Emma's doing dance. Christopher's doing basketball, football, and band. Will is doing band, National Honor Society, and student council. But, you know, there's really no pictures of that. Now, ba band had a concert this week, but parents were not allowed. 
And I thought Will was joking. I was like, what do you mean parents aren't allowed? He's like, Mom, absolutely. Parents cannot come. I thought he was kidding, but we, we couldn't come. And so I don't have any pictures of him because we couldn't go. Um, let's see, now I'm gonna answer questions. Louise Doust asked, do you have a specific date in 2024 for houses on Pumpkin Lane? It starts January. We have all of the, basically it starts January and we are waiting for all of the hand dyed floss to arrive. And then once it's all here, we will announce everything. So we're waiting for um, like part of it's here, part of it's not, but there is one color that takes longer to dye or is I guess further back on the dye list. So once that comes is when we will announce it. This is a great question. Amy asked, does stitching one over one make the colors more solid opposed to two over two? No, stitching one over one, it depends on your count, but anytime you're stitching with one strand, it's always gonna be lighter, always. And you will see that in the houses on Pumpkin Lane that I'm working on um, just because, I got really stressed out in the middle of doing that and I will tell you that it's one over one and I was like stitching. I stitched like, I think it was five or six windows and I was like, those look funny. Yeah, I was stitching two over two. Didn't even notice. Um, Sharon asked if dyed effect fabric comes in 14 or 32. So dyed effect comes in all of their counts. So they have 14, 18, 16, 28, 32, 40. They have all the counts. I'm not sure if we carry 40 count in fabric flare though. Kristen Wenzel asks, when finishing a cross stitch project, do I wash it before I take it to the framer? I don't, I don't. I do try to wash my hands before I touch anything and I do keep Neutrogena hand, their face, they're actually face wipes, but I keep them in my car because they're not greasy and I mean they are more expensive than the like CVS brand or Walgreens brand but I found those brands to be greasier so I just buy the Neutrogena face I think they're makeup cleaners I don't know it's blue and I keep them in my car and so when I drive to my kids games I just take one and wipe it before I go in Jackie Lynch what is the size of the Blackbird Christmas designs can they be used as ornaments they're all various sizes, so I will kind of peek. I think they're a little bit bigger than ornaments. Yeah, they're bigger than ornaments. Yeah, they, I think they're too big for ornaments. Kathy Rakow, Kimberly, what is my favorite Christmas pattern to stitch for this year? Well, it's usually the Jolly Housewives that we, that uh, Priscilla and Chelsea come out with because it's usually like a bigger design. It usually has rainbow, rainbows, reindeer and Santas. And um, so you, it's usually that one. Patty asks, what would be a good color of 14 count Ada to use for Quilted Witch? Um, so you can see it behind me, but it's got kind of a grayish tint to it. So, I mean, I think if you did, um, vintage country mocha, it would just have more of a brown feel and be darker. You could do natural, which has kind of a natural effect. I'm not sure how that would look. And I haven't, you could maybe, I would say look on social media and see, but there is not an exact color of 14 count. That's the same as a 25 count. I do know that. Okay, so today we're going to have three winners and they will receive their favorite pattern from the What's New page. So um, to enter to win, you have to answer if do you believe in ghosts? And, and if so, what is your ghost story? And um, you have until Tuesday, October 24th to enter and we're picking winner winners on October 25th and I will see you guys next week be ready be in your kitchen have your 
pots and pans and your dye and your fabric ready to go and we'll see how successful I am at writ dyeing. Super excited to see you guys next week. I hope all of you have a great week and I will see you guys next week.